Hello everyone, today we are going to be talking about Winsor & Newton watercolor markers. Now most people know Winsor & Newton as a paint company, but they have some pretty amazing watercolor markers. So let's go ahead and review them and I'll let you know exactly what I think of them. Let's start off by talking about what they are. Winsor & Newton watercolor markers are highly pigmented, light fast, and they are water-based pens. They are dual tipped, so they have a flexible brush nib that provides thickness, and they also have a fine nib for details. They provide excellent washes when used with a wet brush and they claim to leave little or none of the original mark if that is the look that you are going for and I'm going to test that out later and let the pen dry so you can see if it leaves a mark behind or if not. These easily blend with water and they are also intermixable with watercolors. So like I said before, Winsor & Newton has a really nice line of watercolors and you can mix these with your watercolors to create really beautiful gradients. Now it can easily be confused. There are three different types of markers that look very similar. These ones are the Winsor & Newton watercolor markers now the ones that are brand new are the Winsor and Newton pro marker watercolor markers yes it's very similar so you have to be careful with what you're buying and also they have another type of marker which looks very very similar to this and it is their Winsor Newton pro marker series and those are absolutely not what you want. Those are alcohol-based markers. Unless you're looking for alco alcohol-based markers, then you don't want those because I have made the mistake of purchasing those before and those are absolutely not even in the same realm as these. If I get my hands on the new Pro Marker watercolor markers, I will do a review on them, but they look very similar to these ones that I'm reviewing now. I don't know if it's just an upgrade or what the deal is, but I will try my best to find that out for you. There are 36 colors and they match up and are in line with their watercolors. So if you have their watercolors and you want a certain color, then you would already know what the shade would be if you match those up. Now these pens should be stored horizontally and the reason why is because if you have them vertically, whatever side is point facing down is going to accumulate a ton of ink and the other side might dry out. So you have to be weary of that. If you want them to last at their full potential, then I definitely suggest storing them horizontally. And I just store mine in a little container like this. It's actually a stackable container. Let me know in the comments if you want to see a pen storage organization tour, and I will definitely have one of those coming. They come in sets of six, sets of 12, and I have also seen them in singles, but that's not going to be your best deal if you want to buy them at a better price. And then I've also seen them in a whole set of 36. And I wanted to test out that theory of if it leaves any marks behind if you add water. So I did it with no drying, so I didn't even let the purple dry on the bottom. And at the top, I let it dry for one minute and it seemed to work really well. It still picked up the color that was wet. And this one I let dry for five minutes and it didn't really have any issues with re-wetting and it still looked really nice. 
I didn't see any lines left behind and it was a really smooth gradient so I was pretty impressed by that. Now with a two color gradient, these also blended really nice. Um, if you can tell, they do stay pretty moist, but I actually wouldn't say that these are the most moist markers that I work with. These actually dried a little bit quicker than some of the other markers I have, like Karen markers. So if you want something that's going to stay wet on the paper for a while, this one doesn't stay quite as moist on the paper. The paper that I would highly recommend is this Canson XL watercolor paper. It's inexpensive and it does well to withstand these watercolor type markers. These have a very fine and firm tip so it does leave really nice upstrokes and if you don't have as much control then these are good would be good for you. The downstrokes, as you can see, I get a nice variation between thinner downstrokes and then extremely thick downstrokes too. And the transition between upstrokes and downstrokes is really nice. The firm tip makes it easier for the nib to bounce back. Overall, I do like these markers. They have super vibrant colors, which that is something that I'm always a huge fan of. They're easy to blend, which I love. I also love that the color names match up with the paint names because as an artist, I think sometimes it can be difficult to imagine a certain color in your head. But with this being, let's say, cadmium orange, some of a good idea of what that looks like already. So let's talk about a couple things that I don't really like. And one thing is that the nibs vary and I think this has to do with the fact that I'm using it on watercolor paper. But with a pen like this, you have to use it on a thicker paper, otherwise it is just going to tear through your paper. So as you watch some of these swatches, you can tell that the nib is pretty much destroyed on some of the pens. So I would think that the nib would be able to withstand being used on a watercolor paper since it is a watercolor marker. These can also be icy and a little bit difficult to find. So I think I got mine at Blick Art Studios, but they can be difficult to find in some areas. However, if you like bright, vibrant colors like I do, then you probably do want to add these into your collection. And also, if you love painting with watercolor, these could add to your paintings and you could totally create a new style with your watercolors. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Also leave a comment down below about what other types of videos you'd like to see or if there's another kind of marker you'd like me to review. Let me know and I would be happy to see if I can review those for you. Thank you.